What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to a new show today, Oshinoko, and I think it's called My Star in English or something. Um, sorry my dad's distracting me, he's downstairs and he's like talking, baby talking to the dogs. Uh, I wish I could say I was going into this completely blind, but I'm not because I saw the trailer. Um, I don't know what everyone's so emotional about though. I just know like the basic plot synopsis. Her gynecologist gets reborn as her child or something. <clears throat> or maybe one of her children. I don't know if she has more than one. Um, the main character is an idol. I think the show is about like just how hard it is to be an idol. Um, and I believe it. Because I do like K-pop and you, you do hear the stories of just like how... I mean, it's how hard that life is, I guess. Like, I don't know. Something happened recently. I won't go into it, into it. But, like, uh, someone who, like, was uh, on a singing competition show was, I don't know, kicked out of the show for, um, they looked like old pictures. They were not current. They were probably, because he's probably in his 30s now, and now I think those looked like they were taken in, taken in his 20s. So I'm going to say around, like, 10 years ago. And anyway, sir, old photos surfaced of him with um, a, I'm trying to put, like, how do I put this in a classier way? Um, an adult film star is that how you would say that i'm not sure um an adult actress i don't know adult film actress i don't know actor he was with uh or no actress who's like photos are taken of him with her and it's just like he had to quit the show for that i don't understand like they're people too and they weren't doing anything promiscuous at least in the photos that it's on like even if they were so what i just think it's so dumb like, they're not allowed to have a fucking personal life. It's so stupid. But, whatever. Whatever. But anyway. Um. Um. And he was so talented, too. It's just a, sh it's a shame. Um. So I do understand, I think, like, where they're coming from with, like, how hard it is to be an idol. Because from what I've seen, and that's just one example, a current one. It is hard. Um. But yeah, I know this is like an hour and 22 minutes. Yeah, it's long. I was going to say an hour and a half. I didn't even look at the runtime before I said that. Um, Chris told me about it, but he's like, it. it's good. I was uh, reading comments about this. Uh, nothing spoiler, but like, I wanted to see what people's opinion was on this because people were asking me to react to it. So I was like, hmm, let's see. And uh, a lot of people were saying like, oh my God, like, this is like the best first episode of an anime I've seen in a long time. And like, just really high praise. So, I have high expectations going into this. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but I do. But, um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to continue reacting to the whole show or not. Because, you know, this is an hour and a half. I think it's kind of like, when you have a lot less time to do something, can you still hit that chord with your viewers? Can you strike that emotional chord or not? Maybe yes, maybe no. We'll have to see. I might react to, like, one more. Ah, fuck, I feel like something bit me. I'm, like, paranoid now because we, we have ants. We, this happens every summer, the beginning of summer, with the spray. But, um, um, I wouldn't be surprised if I went like this and there was a fucking ant. Anyway, um, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll happen at some point during this reaction because there was one on my hand downstairs, so I'm freaking out now. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'll probably at least watch one more episode. I'm not going to promise that, but I probably will um, after this. And if it's good, maybe I'll continue. If not, maybe not. We'll see. You're doing this at work? Poor health, my ass. Ah, uh, her? Was she sick as a child? Wow. Oh, 
Oh no. Ah. Oh, did she die? Hmm. Hmm. Well, he's gonna find out. <laughs> Aww. Oh, she's gonna die, though, isn't she? Is he a fan because she was a fan? Mm. Yeah, live till you're 16. And she didn't. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Look up, dude. Look up. No. Probably her manager. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have. <laughs> like her eyes actually look like that. Come on now. Stop. <laughs> Bruh, for real? Are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go out there and freak out. <laughs> I'm so glad you're reborn as her child. Aish. Get over that infatuation. You don't need to know. Damn, 16. That's gonna be tough. Okay, two. Oh, that dead girl. Is she gonna be reborn as her other child? Oh. That's sweet, actually. Damn. It's gonna be tough on your career, because people are gonna look down on her for that. You just know it. Even though there's no reason to. <laughs> is this a thing? What is up with this? Why not? Don't you love them for them? Like, what's wrong with loving them still? If, who cares if they're married or have kids? Like, are you gonna stop being friends with your friends because they got married and had kids? What? Come on now, bro. What the fuck? This is just what I mean. Like, it's so hard to be an idol. Like, they're people. They're people. First of all, I'm just gonna rein it back. I'm gonna relate it back to what I was talking about earlier. Everyone watches porn. What is the big deal? Okay, maybe not everybody meets up with a porn star. Sure. But why are you, like... Whoa. Why are you judging them for that? Why does that make them any less deserving of being on the show or... I don't know. Of... I feel like you're almost like, it's like taking away from, yeah, like they don't deserve to be there. I was going to say taking away from their talent, but I guess not. I guess I'm being kind of harsh, but yeah, like they don't deserve to be there. It's not like he's on the show, like having sex on stage. I mean, he's on the freaking stage, like mm, mm, in a freaking beret and wearing pink, like fuzzy sweaters and stuff. Like how much more like kid friendly can you be? <sighs> I don't know. And you should probably be monitoring, like, what your kids are watching somewhat. I mean, but I guess you can't really stop them. But I don't know. I just think it's so dumb. I'm, I'm still stuck on that. And right here, like, not, like, not supporting her because... Aish. Aish. So stupid. It's dumb. Aw. Yeah, this is her chance to have a family. She's making her own family.
She can have it all. Why not? She should. She deserves it. You won't make it public? But that's the problem. You shouldn't have to lie. What a fun job? That sounds miserable. Yes. And you deserve them. No, you can have both. As you should. Be greedy, bitch. Be greedy. Other idols need to watch this. And people who are fans of idols need to watch this. Yeah, you're lying to protect people, I guess. Or to protect yourself. I think it's both. I think it's both in the sense of like, you don't want to let them down, but you also, I think it's selfish and selfless. Hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. Maybe not, but I think there's a part of you that probably like doesn't want to let them down, like I said, but I think there's another part of you that doesn't want them to stop loving you. Like you like being loved by them and it's scary, you know? So I think that's the selfish part of you don't want to lose their love for your own benefit because there goes your career. Bye bye career. But at the same time, it, it's nice to be loved. It's a good feeling. But at the same time, you know that you make a lot of people happy. And if you fuck up, you're going to hurt a lot of people. Fuck up. I say that so harshly. I don't mean it. I mean, like, because that's how they're thinking about it. Very harshly. Um, anyway. But, yeah. I think it's both. And he's not going to make it. You should have never said that. Crazy fan? He's going to kill him? Is he the father? He's probably the dad. You're an idiot. You should have just left it alone. He's gonna push him from behind. <gasps> oh, that... That guy's crazy as fuck. I wonder if he raped her. Are you paralyzed? Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, he's gonna die there. They're both gonna be reborn. Aquamarine? That's his name? Yeah, what purpose would that serve? I think it's because he's supposed to be there to help her through it. <laughs> no worries, you know. They have one star each in her eye, that's funny. Oh, that's who it is, okay. I was wondering who she was. Mm, she looks worried. Look at him, so easy. Lucky you kept your memories. Yep. Like, whoa, they're actually really fucking good. What's going on here? Talking all that shit. Eat your words. Mmm. <laughs> 
He's uh, he is a stalker. That smile's kind of creepy looking. She just said mate? Girl, you're not even trying to hide it. What's going on? You're not shocked by this? This is nothing new for you? <laughs> He knew, okay. <laughs> don't you know who she is, dude? Come on now. But you don't know who she was. I'm telling you, it's the girl who had cancer. This is so realistic. It's true. You'll always have people come to their fucking defense like this. It's hilarious. Oh my god. I think sometimes it's a little bit too much. With any celebrity, it's like, bruh, relax. Okay? You're doing the most right now on both sides when you're like defending them to the max and then hating on them to the max. You don't own her. You lied? Is that what you're mad about? You lied? Lied about what, bitch? That she would only ever love her fans? Like, what? I don't know what he's talking about here. I don't know their background here, but... Maybe he knew her in school or something? I don't know what's going on, but... <sighs> She's a person. She's gonna fall in love. I don't know. She, she might have fallen in love. Maybe she... I don't know. I don't know the circumstances. She could have been raped. It could have just been a one night stand. We don't know what happened here, so. Ugh. I don't know. But this guy, he seems like he just feels so entitled. You don't own her, dude. But then again, he keeps going on about lie. You lied to me. About what? Hmm. Lied about not having children? I don't know. About not dating somebody? Is that what it's about? It has to be more than that. You go and make babies that you'd only ever love me, and then you go and make babies with someone else. Is your one true love would always be your fans, and then you go make babies? Mm. Be, yeah, it would be kind of weird. Unless you're Rudy from Jobless Reincarnation, and he loves that shit. that one girl To work with handsome young guys and cheat on him? Hmm? Huh? Yeah, what? You're crazy, bitch. Come on now. She didn't sign up to take care of someone else's kid. <gasps> oh, fuck. She's gonna be a problem. Shit. Ah, fuck. Do we kill her? <laughs> Whoa. 
That would scare the shit out of me. This was smart. This was a good play. I agree with it. <laughs> good job, dude. That would make you look really bad, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, she smacked that fucking hand away. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. I hope you're not sick this time. I'm sure you haven't. Please tell me they're going to figure out who each other are. Oh, come on, dude. Really happy. Not fake happy for everyone else's sake. She wants to give them everything she didn't have. <laughs> oh my god, look at them with the fucking light sticks. Oh my god. <laughs> I know the fucking choreo and shit. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That was the motivation she needed. <laughs> <laughs> Just being yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be yourself, bitch. Don't give them what you think they want. Just be you. <laughs> Dude, too much. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when is the stalker gonna come come back into play? I'm wondering. I thought that was him at first, because the hoodie and the hair, but I don't think that's him. Mm. Did they, like, completely cut her out? Mm. Did he just call someone? Dude! Ooh. <laughs> yeah, she outshined the ad, uh, the lead. Yeah. 
Yeah, he told you it wouldn't be that simple. Whoa. That you'll be in it too? Okay. You better just do it, dude. Wow. <laughs> I think he actually creeped her out. He was being like nice. Was that like creepily nice or something? He outshined me! <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel bad actually. Like, this is. She's trained so hard for this. I get it. Like, a lot of her self worth comes from this. Um, she was a bitch, that's why I laughed, but I, I get it. She's not gonna have a future with the way she acts. Mm -hmm. She needed them. Yeah, that's crazy that you knew what he wanted from you, what he needed. Maybe you are meant for this, dude. Three years? He's three years old? Wow. Good for you, girl. You're in a different body. It's not the same. You need to try. Just try. You run around all day, no problem. Why would this be different? Is that her mom? Aww. We can practice together. That's cute. You're in your head. You're in your head. It's like you think you're gonna fall, so you fall. Stop, stop. Your body's not the same. He's just gonna keep barking, isn't he? She's, he's ruining this emotional scene. Mm. Keep going, keep going! See, there you go! Get out of your head! Mm-hmm. Mm. She could be an idol. Mm. Oh. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I hope it's not the stalker. Oh, 
ンターも狙えると思うそんなでいや絶対向いてる保証するやめといた方がいいと思うよ私父の子だしもともと片親だったんだけど小さい頃にお母さん窃盗で捕まっちゃってその間施設に預けられてたのでもお母さん釈放されても迎えに来てくれなかったんだうん That's really sad. A people hating liar. Mm. They don't mean it sometimes. I I I I hate I hate to say that, but I'm sure some of them don't mean it. It's true. Like you gotta you gotta say it. But some I'm not saying all of them are fake like that. But you know, it's kind of I think one of those things you gotta do to get through the job. See, sometimes you might hate them. You might hate your job. You but you you say you love it. You know, but um. Pretty lies are what fans want. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. Like, I think there are a lot out there that probably... they Ignorance is bliss kind of sort of thing, you know? Um, that's what they want. Oh, uh, I was going to say something else. I forgot. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. Shit. Hmm. I don't know. Well, what were they talking about just now? Oh, uh, she doesn't know what it's like to be loved, and she's never loved anyone, and she doesn't know if she could love her fans. Yeah, that that is just wow, the impact of that man. That sucks, and she's kind of like, she's probably wondering, how do I know it when I see it? So how will I know when I love something? How will I know when someone really loves me? How will I know? And maybe she's figured that out by now, but the way she's talking and she's being pretty like retrospect. Ugh retrospective right now and it seems like she still doesn't believe that she's ever loved anything or that she's even capable of it or that anyone has really truly loved her mm, I don't know anyway <laughs> I'm pretty sure this whole time you've established that you don't love them and it's all fake and it's all lies. But you want it to be real. Why? You want to make sure that it's real. Might be the dad. Didn't you invite him? Why, 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 why is she having this like happy memory right now? What's going on? What is happening right now? Is she realizing just now that, oh, I love my kids. I love my manager and his wife. <gasps> her life flashed before her eyes. That's what that was. Oh my god, he's a doctor. <gasps> He'll know what to do, right? Oh my god, why, 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 why is it like she was dragging herself? Oh. <laughs> what? 
Even if I pay for it one day. Man, she remembers his name. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, she shared it with her kids, I think. Now what she thought she was going to say, huh? He's so unstable. This guy needs help. Wow, dude, she handled that very well. Oh. Oh. No. Yes, you died. I hope they get there in time. <gasps> Is that her? Oh, fuck. I <sighs> still That's what she's gonna say. She loved them. She just didn't realize that she did. That was haunting. <laughs> he killed both of them and he's gonna get away with it, isn't he? Of course. What the fuck? People are disgusting. Yes, it is. <laughs> They're wrong. You're right. Seems like, it, yeah.
Ja. She's right. She's actually crying. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Come on, come on, Ruby. Someone here wants to be your mom. Come on, come on. She didn't need to do that. That's so cute. She really loves them. Mm hmm. Of course. Yeah, she's a bit mutt at times, but she's a good kid. You'll find something else to care about. Mm. Oh no, not his wife. No. Oh, thank fucking god. Oh, he- fuck, she gave him the address! Oh, so that's what the season's gonna be about? You finding the murderer? Well, not the murderer, but the accomplice? Oh? Hmm? So sh I guess you never agreed. So you and Ruby are gonna be split up? Raise you. Hmm. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Big time skip. You guys really are not gonna figure out. My revenge play. We'll see. I might watch one more episode to see how this plays out. Oh my god, stop. Did she leave them a video message? Ugh. I don't even, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. That was sweet. It's my only wish. Go up well. Um, it was good. I thought I would cry more, but I didn't. But it doesn't mean it didn't hit me in the feels. Um, her death scene was creepy. I think it was a little more creepy, and that's probably why I didn't cry. Because there were just some shots that I was just like, like shots where she's smiling, but like all the light had left her eyes because she died. Um, or the, the shot where she, like, turns and, like, puts her hand up to the door to face Ruby, and she's like, I still do. And it was, um, that was sad. It's true, though. The life of an idol is hard. So, like, if Ruby really wants this, like, prepare yourself, girl. You've seen what it's like. I didn't expect Aqua to want revenge and dedicate his life to it like this, but... I'm all here for it. I love revenge stories. Who doesn't? Uh, but her life was just kind of tragic. Or parts of it. Not the whole thing. The fact that she had loved her children that whole time, but didn't know it. Wasn't sure. And had held off on telling them that she loved them because she was scared it wouldn't be real. And she didn't want their relationship to be based on lies like every other part of her life. I get it. She wanted something to just be real. Uh, 
She wanted to be her she wanted her happiness to be real. And it's so sad that like she had to go on stage and fake all of her smiles and pretend to be happy for everyone else's sake, for everyone else's benefit. And more than anything, she wanted to be happy, but she just couldn't be. And part of that, I think, has to do with how much you're criticized and even as hard as you work, there's still going to be something that people hate about you or hate you for. It, you you can't help but like, they sh that shit gets to you. You can't help that. You, you just can't. And I think obviously how she grew up contributed to that, that insecurity and that, that, um, um, He's distracting me. He's talking to Freya or something, I think. Cat. Um, that, like, unsureness. That's not the right word. That's not even a word, I don't think. But, um, <laughs> that, um, that doubt. There we go. That was what I was looking for. That doubt. That, like, inner saboteur, you know? That's how RuPaul would put it. But, yeah, that self-doubt. You know, you're in your mind and you're just like, oh, I don't know. Do, do I know what love is? Oh, do I know what it's like to be loved? Oh, I don't know. Okay, am I capable of love? Like, she was just constantly in that cycle in her brain, and it was just like a self-sabotaging loop that she was kind of putting herself in, I think. It's just like, you should just didn't say it. And you'll know as soon as you say it if it's real or not. But I get her wanting to wait. I understand, but it was just sad. Like, she deprived herself of that for so long because she wasn't sure. I feel like her fear... And her, her doubt, you know, her insecurity all held her back in a way. And again, I get that. It comes from her upbringing, you know, not having a mother who loved her and put her first. And her mother clearly wasn't happy. And so how could she be happy, you know, going through all of that, being abandoned? I get it. Um, but more than anything, she wanted that for her kids, for them to be happy. For them to be loved and to know what it felt like to be loved, even if she wasn't even sure if what she was showing them was love, you know? She tried her best. And then for that guy to come fucking stab her and say that she's a bitch and a slut and whatever and, you know, you're a liar and this and that. Like, you say you love us and you're dedicated to us, but you go off, you run off and have kids. And it's like, just because she has kids doesn't mean that she doesn't love you. I mean, she didn't love you or she wasn't sure if she loved you guys, but... God, I don't really blame her if she didn't. Um, because they're so... Not all of them, but, like, some of them, like... They're toxic. I think sometimes, you know, in a, when you're in a certain state of mind, when you're a little emotional, like, it's hard to separate that. But, like, man, she handled that situation well. Even though, even though she was probably lying and she really didn't give a shit about him and his fucking feelings in that moment. Maybe she was telling the truth, but, like, I think... When you're freaking stabbed, you're kind of just going to say whatever you know you want. They want to hear. Um, but I wonder if, like, maybe I shouldn't be downing her. Maybe she really meant it. No, she did mean that she wanted to love them. But in that moment, did you really want to love him? Because she said, even in this moment, it's like, uh, maybe, excluding him. <laughs> and uh, your husband, uh, not husband, um, the father of your kids. Terrible. I don't get that. Like, why... Why did you give the stalker her location? Why did you hate her so much? I mean, you, I don't know if, is he mad because she didn't let him be a part of their life? I don't, or didn't like come out to the public and say that she's dating someone, like that she hid the pregnancy from him probably, like. Was she, like, ashamed of him? Is that what it was about? Like, oh, fuck you. You're ashamed of me? Well, then you can die. I don't know why. What is it? Hmm. Anyway. It was good, though. Uh, so, yeah, I'll definitely check out the next episode. I don't know if I'm committed to the whole season or not. I will see. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want 
full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.